Hey guys, what's up? So I'd share this little miniature with you. Uh, it's a five minute blitz game. My opponent's rated just over 1500 at the start of the game and we get into a lovely gambit, which is the Von Popiel gambit and it comes from like the Black Mardima line and no one's gonna know what hit them, really. So if you go E4, opponent plays D5. Now you can get into this also if you're a D4 player. If you wanna play D4, D5, E4, same kind of thing, but I only see this in response to the Scandi. You play d4, this is the black mark gambit. If they take the traditional black mark, well, the old black mark gambit continues with, with f3, the black mark dima is an improvement on that with knight c3. And so we are attacking this pawn. And there's, there's two likely ways to, to defend it. They can bring out their knight, they can bring out their bishop. Here they bring out the knight, very natural move. It's, all, it's bringing the, the king one step closer to castling, you know, which is not really so quite so much the case on, on the queen side. And the von Popiel here continues with bishop g5. If you want to carry on black, black Maldima route, it's f3, pawn takes, knight takes. Okay, so we've given up the one pawn. And they are going to bring... So we're threatening to remove the, the only defender of this pawn, right? So very, very natural. Now let's bring out the bishop and add a second defender. This is great. And this is where things get spicy and interesting. Because you don't play f3, you play queen to e2. And the whole point of this is that we are eyeing up queen b5, which forks the king and the bishop. Now, it's unlikely that you're going to win the bishop, unless if they push e6, then um, the bishop's defended anyway. But this is not the point, okay? Oh no, my pawn. And now, actually, that t tips the balance slightly in White's favour. Because now we throw in uh, Queen b5 check, targeting the undefended bishop. So there's really only one, one move here for Black to play. They come back. And now, if you've ever played the England Gambit, the classic England Gambit trap line, or if you're a d4 player and you face the England Gambit and you, need, you, you know not to fall into this line. We take the pawn here on b7. Um, obviously with the, the England gambit, it's it's down this side of the board on white side, right? Because it's a, it's a d4, e5 line takes and then you attack the pawn twice um, and bring your queen out this way, okay? Kind of thing. Not quite like that, but you know what I mean. All right, now we are simply threatening to take the rook. And white now gets clever. Remember, this is a 1500 player thinking, I'll tell you what, I can put my bishop here because the bishop then x-ray defends the rook, the rook defends the knight, the knight defends the bishop, and everything's hunky diddly dory. But now, uh-oh, blunder. Okay, now white has a super duper sexy killer move. What do we do? Well, our queen is under threat. What are the different ways? There's different ways to respond to an attack. One of them is to pin the attacking piece so it can't, it can't take you, right? So we play bishop b5. And this is the exact same pattern that you get in that line if they if they try and do this in the, the England gambit on the other side of the thing. Now, um, so now the bishop can't take. And what happens next? Queen b6. Notice the queen actually has an important job here. Okay, she has now abandoned her post and queen c8 is checkity, 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 mate, bruv. I, I'm left with four minutes 29 on the clock. Opponent has three minutes 29 on the clock. I've got an over the board game this evening. Starts at 7.30. If it goes like this, I could be home by eight. But uh, I'm not holding my hopes up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grind it, man. I'm going to... I'm going to go in for the long term. I'm going to think about my openings. I'm going to think about principles and I'm going to calculate. Wish me luck. Okay, but I thought you'd enjoy that one. So thanks for watching. See you soon.